Okay, so before we add a IK system to the leg chain of our character, let's talk a little bit about the differences between IK and FK. So, as a rigger, as you start developing your skills, you may come across these two different terms. They are actually kind of opposite to each other. We have the FK system and we have the IK system. So, the FK stands for forward kinematics and IK system stands for inverse kinematics. So, let me illustrate and show you the differences. I will go ahead and this under the skeleton, I will grab the create joints. Let's switch over to the right view, to a side view. Let's put our character to the side because I want just to show you the differences. All right. I will create a chain resembling to a leg like the one we have created for our character. This is called an FK chain. By default, this is an FK chain, meaning that if we grab the rotate tool hitting the E key on your keyboard, the parent, the most parent object will drive the entire joint or the entire chain okay so we have the parent object which will drive the child object and this child object will in turn drive its child object all right so we have the most bottom child which is driven by this parent object here and this parent object will be driven by the parent or the grandparent of the entire chain so I hope this makes sense. It is kind of very straightforward. So we have the very top object controls every other object underneath. So we have the child object is parented underneath this object and this object is parented underneath this object. So this is the forward kinematics. But on the other hand, the IK system if we go ahead to the skeleton menu and grab the create IK handle to grab its parameters, we can see that before we get into the creation of the IK handle, we have two options to choose from. We have the single chain solver and we have the rotate plane solver. The single chain solver will create an IK handle and if we rotate that IK handle this will also twist the IK chain which is not always what we want instead we want to have full control over the rig sometimes we need to set a control to control just that rotation and that twist of the IK system this option here is kind of limited because the IK handle, once it is created, it will control the twist of the chain. However, if we select the rotate plane solver and create an IK handle, we get the chance to add other control objects to control the twist of the chain. And this, in turn, give us more flexibility over the rig and how the rig performs. So, now, we will select the rotate plane solver since it is the one we will be using in this course and let me click on the most top object here which is going to be the tie I will click on the root joint and the next selection is going to be the most bottom child which is this end bone here now once that's created Maya will give us this handle here called IK handle one if we use the move tool by hitting the W key and we start move this around you can see that we get a really nice move it resembles the way a human leg moves but you can also notice that now the move or the behavior is totally different this time because we have the most bottom child it is the one who controls the most upper parent the action is kind of inverted if you think of it this way the action is inverted and that's why it is called inverse kinematics 
So the action is inverted because the mouse bottom child is going to control the top parents. However, when we have done this using the forward or the FK system, the action was going from the top parent all the way down to the child. But now the action is inverted. The, we have the IK handle attached to the most bottom child and the most bottom child is now controlling the entire top chain. So you can see the inverted behavior we get. All right, so that's the difference between the IK and the FK system. And as we move on and as we progress in this course, you will learn a lot more about the differences and how those can be applied to our rig hero.